Hi guys, welcome to 10 Minute Maths with me, I'm Mr C. Right, today we're going to be thinking about number bonds to 10 and we're going to be using the part whole method to help us work these out. This method really supports the early learning goal where we're using quantities and objects to add and to subtract. We're also going to be using a few different words today that you might not have heard of before. So for example, whole, part, add, and equals. So when I say the word whole, you might think as if you're digging a hole, but it doesn't mean that. It means when a group of objects are all together. So for example, in your family, you might have yourself, your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister. And when you are all together, we're going to say that that is the whole. If we take one of you out, then that is the part. But put you back together, that is the whole. Okay? So when we say the word whole today, it means the group of objects all together. Okay? Great. Right, so if you want to join in today, um, you're going to need a part whole frame. You're going to need up to 10 counters. You can use absolutely anything. It doesn't have to be counters, it could be toys, rocks, stones, sticks, anything, but you need 10. And also for later on, you'll need a dice. Right, so to get us thinking about the part whole method, um, we're gonna begin by just doing some simple sorting into two groups. So we're gonna look at the next picture, and I want you to think of as many different ways as you can that we could sort these objects into two groups. Right, so how many cakes have we got to start off with? Yep, yeah, we've got four. Right, so we're now going to break them into the two parts. So we're going to put them onto the two separate plates. So look carefully, how could we sort them into the two groups? Yep, yeah, so we've got two cakes that are chocolate, and we've got two cakes that are pink. So we've now broken them into two parts, and we've got two and two. Right, let's think of a different way. How could we sort them into the two groups in a different way? Right, we can see that three have got candles, so let's put those three onto this plate. And there's one without a candle, so we can put that on the other plate. So we've now broken them again into two parts, but this time we've got three and we've got one. So already we're beginning to use the part-whole method, and we're beginning to break them into those two parts. Right, we're now going to move on to the part whole frame. So the circle at the top, that's our whole. And the two circles at the bottom connected to it, they're going to be our parts. Right, we're going to start off with five counters. So our answer is always going to equal five. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start to break them into the parts. So to start off with, I'm just going to put one into this part and I'm going to put all of the other counters into the right part. So we need to make sure all of them are not in the hole anymore. So we've got one, two, three, four. So now we can see that one and four make five, because five was our hole. So we always know that it's going to equal five. If we were going to say that as a number sentence, we could say one add four equals five. So already we're starting to think about number bonds. Let's have another go at doing a number one to five. So this time I'm going to put one, two, three counters in the left part. And I'm going to put one, two counters in the right part. So this time we know the answer equals five. So we've got three and two. So we could say three add two equals five. Excellent. 
Right, let's move on to number bonds to 10. We're gonna do a big jump now. So this time I need 10 counters in my hole. So if you've got 10 objects, put those into your hole. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So our answer is always going to equal 10. Right, for this activity, this is where I'm going to roll the dice, and you can have a go at doing this as well afterwards. So let's roll the dice and see how many we're going to put into our first part. How many have we got? Three. Excellent. So we're going to go one, two, three. Right, so all of these other counters, don't forget, we need to put all of them into the other part. So let's count them in. We've got one, two, three, four five, six, seven. So we've got three and we've got seven. So there's our first number bond to 10. And remember, if we're going to say that as a number sentence, we'll say three add seven equals 10. Right, let's have another go. So we're gonna roll the dice one more time. So we've got, how many? Six, awesome. So right, let's put six counters into our first part. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so now what do I have to do with the other counters? Yeah, so we're gonna put all of those into the other part. So we've got one, two, three, four. Right, can you tell me this number bond as a number sentence? So we've got six and we've got four. Excellent. So we've got six add four equals 10. Well done. Right, so we've got a challenge for you now. So this challenge, here we go. How many ways can you make 10 using the part whole method? So we've just done two together there and we've used, we've used a dice. So how many ways can you make 10 using the part whole method? I'll tell you, there are 11 different ways. Have a go. Right, so there's your challenge for this week. How many different ways can you make 10 using the part whole method? All right? Um, if you find that a little bit easy, or you think, right, I want another challenge, let's have a greater depth challenge. All right, this time, still using those 10, how many different ways can you make 10, but instead of just breaking them into two parts, can you now break them into three parts, all right? So how in different ways can you make 10 when you break the whole into three parts? Have a go at that one. Right, thanks for watching guys, we'll be back again soon. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you comment. Um, let us know if you've got any questions or anything that you want us to talk about, anything you knew that you would like to learn about. All right, thanks guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.